Hello and welcome to the tech world. So friends, as you know, lot of Chinese action cameras are available online these days, mostly rebranded. It becomes difficult to decide which one to buy. And in this session, we'll be checking one of them, the Pluto Plus 180p action camera. So let's start. I got it from Amazon India for 5,700, and now it's available for 5,300. The image displayed is misguiding as it shows 4K whereas it's a 1080p max 30fps camera. There's no company branding on the cover or on the camera. It only shows up on the boot screen and while switching off. It has a 12 megapixel resolution, records in full HD with 170 degree wide angle lens. It's accompanied with a lot of accessories to attach the camera and these are of good quality. The camera itself is not waterproof. A waterproof casing is provided which seems to be of good quality. I submerged the empty case in a bucket full of water for a few minutes and found no water traces inside the compartment. A rough remote is provided which feels like a toy. Though it does the job, it's not of good quality. The battery compartment is on the bottom side and there's a 900mAh battery. The charging time is too high with the provider charger. The right side is the scroll button and a tiny speaker. And on the top there's an OK button. To the left there is space to insert micro SD card and micro USB charging port or the data syncing port and a micro HDMI out. Power on and mode button are same and on the front side. There are three modes available. They are video mode, car mode and photo mode. Press down scroll button to enter the setup. Press right side up and down button to navigate through menu. Press ok on the top to select. To exit, press the mode or the power button. Full HD recording in 30 frames per second and HD recording at 60 and 30 frames per second. Video quality is by default in super fine and need not be changed. Slow motion recording is available but it misses the time lapse feature. Press the OK button on the top to enter the next menu which has options for common settings like sound, power, save etc. One feature it has is of screen rotation wherein you can attach the camera upside down and record. In the car mode, the slow motion recording is disabled and the seamless or the loop recording is active wherein, the, wherein you can set the duration of clips to 1, 3 or 5 minutes. And then the photo mode which I prefer not to be used but the stabilization feature is available in this menu. The fourth mode is a playback mode with three folders, car, video and jpg. Note has three buttons, the power button which can only be used to switch off the camera. Then the photo and video button which does its job perfectly. It has Wi-Fi and to connect via Wi-Fi press the OK button on the camera for a few seconds. A message waiting for Wi-Fi connection will appear on the camera screen. Scan and connect to action camera from your mobile and input the password provided in the manual. Download iSmart DV application from Play Store. Once it's connected via Wi-Fi you can download clips and photo to your mobile phone. This software is a little buggy and not reliable to control the camera.
I bought it to use it as a dash camera and I'm not that convinced as it's unable to fetch the number of the vehicles coming from opposite side.